We are on day nine of 365. So today you may need a block or a strap, just depending on how much space you have. Have some props handy. And we're gonna start lying down. We're gonna get into those hips. So make your way onto your back. We will start with our feet on the mat here and knees resting against each other. Just kind of shimmy your feet forward a little bit so they're not all the way back here. And just rest your knees in. Rock your back evenly. Palms at the side of the body, facing upwards, so heart nice and open. And just take a few moments to check in before we start to move our bodies. Let's close the eyes. Bring the awareness to your breathing. Just feel your breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. Feel how the body moves as you breathe. Let subtle rise and fall of the abdomen. Relax your shoulders, feel your shoulder blades just melting across your mat here. Soften into the lower back. Just connect to being grounded along the back body, underneath the feet, connecting to the earth. Soften your facial muscles, bring your awareness to the space right between your eyes and drop your gaze down into that third eye space, down past the throat and into your heart center. Rest your attention here and allow an intention to float in for your practice today. And once you find your intention, take your feet back to hips width. You can blink your eyes open. Let's take the right ankle over the left knee. Take a hold of the back of the left thigh. This is where for some of you that strap may already come in handy. So place a strap underneath the thigh if you can't reach your leg without lifting your head and shoulders off the mat. So we're just going to gently draw that left knee in and press that right hip away. Let's flex this right foot. Just make sure that the ankle is supported right on that thigh there. That is not dropping into that little window between the legs. And press your sitting bones away from you. So as you pull, you've got resistance happening here. Relax the shoulders. Just slowly starting to wake up the hips, become mindful of what's happening in that area of the body. Breathe. And let's place the left foot down, walk it over to the left, keep your ankle hooked on top there. And we're just going to draw the legs over to the right. And if this is too much on the knees, just unhook that ankle and just go for a little twist. So, or a windshield wiper to the right, arms out to the side, gaze to the left. Gently press that ankle into the thigh if you have the space. Press that left knee away from you. And let's bring it back to center. Place your feet on the mat, left ankle over the right thigh. Take a hold of the back of the right leg. And once you've got that leg in, make the adjustments, even out your back, press your sitting bones away from you. Relax your shoulders here. So if the shoulders are up and the head is up, then just use a support, grab a strap. Let's breathe into our pelvis. Hip practices are, are good for so many reasons, right? For our physical body, so much stuff that we hold on to there and it affects the rest of our body, lower and upper. And then also the stories and the metaphysical aspects of it. What is stuck in your hips? Breathe into that space. Dive into your intuition. 
Just be open to any information that comes in throughout your practice today. Be especially mindful of that left hip pressing away, left sitting bone pressing away. And then let's place our right foot down and drop over to the left. That ankle stays above the thigh. If you can, take your arms out to the side, gaze to the right. Press down into that right thigh with the ankle, pushing that right knee away from you. Slowly creating space. Letting go of blockages. Let's bring it back to center. Place both feet down on the mat. Grab the backs of your thighs. We're going to rock ourselves up to book pose. So get into that core. Squeeze your belly. Lift yourself nice and tall here. Spread the toes wide. And lift your heart. If you can, you let go of the legs and breathe. If not, you just hold on until one day. Maybe you can just let go for a second and grab it again. Right? Hug those inner thighs in. Keep lifting the heart. And, of course, getting into your center. Let's breathe. If you go for straight, if you have the space, go for straight legs. Just make sure that you're not falling back. You're lifting, lifting, lifting. The even breaths. Everything's hugging into the center. One more breath here. And let's take a quick body canasana, the soles of the feet together, knees out to the side, fold forward, let everything drop, let the head get heavy. Squeeze the soles of the feet together. And let's scoop the belly in, roll it up, knees together, swing yourself around. We're going to take our plank pose. So step it back, tuck your toes under. Push the knees off the mat, or you're doing plank on the knees. So whatever variation you're in, just make sure that you've got a lot of core support here. That the breath is steady and balanced. We're going to spread those fingers wide and kind of draw back a little bit. So you've got that activation hugging into the armpits. Strong core. Everything in your center is drawn in. Smile wide with your collarbones. And have the gaze just slightly ahead of you so the head's not collapsing. So let's get all 10 of those toes under us. Squeeze those thighs. Press up into your hamstrings. Make sure your hips aren't down here. So if they are and you're struggling, come to your knees. So take time to build up the strength. Honor the process. Maybe a slight opening of the heels if you feel like your heels are dropping in. Just little things to check along the way, right? Got just a couple more breaths here. Deep, even breaths. Squeeze into those armpits. And let's press back into our downward facing dog. So press the hips back. Take a bend to the knees and get really long in the spine here. Let the head get heavy. And then slowly start to straighten out the legs. If you can, if you get super rounded, keep a subtle bend or even a deeper bend. So bend the knees again. Push your hip back, hips. <laughs> and keep those front ribs drawing in. And let's straighten out those legs as much as you can. Heels down. And one more time. Bend the knees. Really press those hips back. Keep your front ribs from poofing out. And straighten out those legs. Let's float the right foot to the top of the mat. Right foot forward, left knee drops. This might be another place where that strap might come in handy. Start to inch yourself forward here. And you can rock on top of the kneecap. So lift that back knee up, rock on top of the kneecap so it's not, you know, it's a little bit easier to be on the back knee. And we're going to twist into the right thigh and spin around and see if you can find your foot. This is where that strap will come in handy if you can't. Start to draw the heel down. We're going to lift those right ribs back. Breathe and spin into the twist here. Both shoulders back. Gaze over the right shoulder. Ground through that front foot so you're not swinging all the way to the outside. 
One more breath here. Push that back knee away from you. And let's release that foot down. We're going to take a flow. Step back into plank pose. Exhale. Take your push up. You may come all the way down or halfway down. Inhale into either cobra pose or upward facing. Lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Find space in your down dog. Every time you step into one, let's step the left foot forward. Right knee drops, right knee walks back. Again, walk onto the top of that knee. Bend the knee, spin around. So our right palm is planted. Take a hold of your foot and draw those left ribs back. Open the heart up. Gaze over the left shoulder. Breathe into the pose, right? Find space with your breath. Pressing that back knee away. And gently release that foot down. Back knee comes off the mat. Step it back again. You can do your planks and chaturangas on your knees. You do what you have the space and strength for. Come into your back bend. Downward facing dog. Let's flip the right foot to the top of the mat. Left heel drops, windmill the arms up and around to standing out to the side. Check that your alignment is heel to heel, maybe a little bit wider apart. And arms out, we're going to come into triangle pose. So you're going to reach and turn that palm in. Left arm up to the sky. If you have more space, you come lower. Right? This is where blocks come in handy as well. Or stacked supports. Breathe into the pose. So when you're in your triangle, just make sure that you're not rounded here and you're not dropping in the left side of the body. You're lifting and opening up. If you are rounded, you come higher. See if you can drop those top ribs into the bottom ones. One more breath here. We're going to come up and bend that front knee right into our warrior two. So bring yourself into Virabhadrasana two. Maybe you have more space. You find it. Maybe you have a deeper lunge. You go deeper into it. Arms reaching wide apart. Gaze over your front right fingers. Breathe. Are you grounded through that back leg? Is the breath steady? When you find space, are you dropping straight down into your center of gravity or are you leaning? Try not to lean. Let's wrap our left hand behind the back, turn the right palm up and gaze down towards that left heel. Peaceful warrior. Breathe into the right side of the body here. We're still connected to our center. Come back. To center, side angle pose, reach, rest, and just windmill that arm around to open up the body, the left side of the body. Gaze up to those fingertips. If you have more space, you come to your block or your support. If you have more space, you come to the mat, either inside or outside. Spin those left ribs open. One more deep breath here. And press into that back foot, bring it up. Switch, grab straight in the front leg, switch to the back of the mat. So toes in, toes out, arms out to the side, deep breath, line your heels up, maybe a little bit wider. And we reach, so we reach without bumping our butt out to the side. Reach, palm down, palm up. Open yourself into your triangle and then slowly start to find that space as you can go deeper. So if you wanna rest your hand on your shin, that's fine. Just try not to put all the weight of your body into that leg. Find the lightness in the pose and breathe. Keep lifting that right torso away from the mat, opening up. And be mindful of not dropping into that inner arch of the back foot, ground through that back ankle. Both legs are very active here. Bend your front knee, come up into warrior two. 
So find your pose, make adjustments as needed. Gaze over those left fingers. Hips are drawing into the body, inner thighs are drawing down. Maybe you have more room in that lunge. Gaze is committed right over the top of that left arm. As you find space, you go deeper into the pose. And we take our right hand, wrap it, left fingers up to the sky, look down towards your back leg. Peaceful warrior, breathe into the left side of your body. One more breath here. Maybe you find more space. Maybe you're right where you need to be. Windmill the arms back, we take our side angle pose. So you rest and you windmill that arm. So the biceps are by the ear and we're reaching. So that's the side angle, right? From your fingertips down to your heel. Just think about that line. And again, you would go deeper. If you have more space, you go deeper, deeper, deeper. One more deep breath here. Press into those feet, windmill the arms back, straighten out that leg. We windmill the feet to the top of the mat and we take a flow. So step back into plank pose, take your chaturanga, inhale your back bend, exhale downward facing. Let's float the right knee to the top of the mat. So right knee comes forward, walk it to the right if you have the space and then that left knee drops down. So we're going to come into our pigeon prep pose here. Lengthen your torsos forward, let the forehead rest. So come into the pose if you know how to access it and breathe. For those of you where there's a little challenge here, place blankets, pillows, if you have a bolster across your pelvis, it's like a little seat and it can support you here. Or you can just place it on the outside of that hip. Also, supports under the chest if you can't get all the way down. So let's point through that top foot. And if this is not accessible at all, just come back to that number four stretch we did at the very beginning of class on your back, ankle over the thigh. Let's breathe into the pelvis. Soften into your hips. Come to all of those places that are resisting the opening. Bring your awareness to those spaces. And just be present there. Check in with your body and see what your body needs. Can you let it go? So contract your belly muscles. Let's walk it up slowly. Take your time, come up into the back bend. Fingers on the mat, we roll our shoulders back. We're gonna go into a twist, take the left palm down and bend that back knee. Again, use a strap if you need to, wrap it around your foot and just draw in or hold your foot and start to spin around. Draw those right ribs back, open the heart. Press that back knee away from you and gently release your foot down. Let's work it in a little bit. Tuck your back toes, and we'll come into our three-legged dog here, scorpion dog. So swing that right knee up to the sky. Draw those right ribs up. Squeeze your left hip in so you're not swinging the left side of the body to the left. Bring it back to center. Square your hip off. Place that foot down, and we take the left knee to the top of the mat. Move it to the left. Walk your right knee back. Use the props that you need to. Give yourself space if you have more, and lengthen over that front leg. So bring yourself as far forward as you can. Let the forehead rest. So let's rock that back thigh under us a little bit. Press the top of the foot down and the back foot there, or tuck your toes under, right? If it's your knees bugging you a little bit, just tuck your toes under. You could always put a blanket underneath there as well. So let's check in with the left side of the body, see what stories are stuck in here. Take some deep breaths into this space. 
rest your attention in your hips and just be open. Soften. Stay present with your breathing in your body. If your mind starts to wander, bring yourself back to your posture, what's happening in your body. One more deep breath here. Strong core, we're gonna walk it up. Come onto your fingertips, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart up, plant your right palm, bend the back knee. And reach around, see if you can find your foot. If not, you grab your strap. So press into the mat, lift the heart, spin those ribs around. Draw that heel down, press that back knee away from you. And let's gently release. Walk that back knee and tuck the toes, press it back, and we'll come into our scorpion dog, leg up and around. So that left knee lifts up to the sky as high as you can. Squeeze your right hip in. Make sure your right elbow is straight. And let's square it off. Place that foot down. Come down to your knees and swing yourself around. Legs out in front. You may need to sit up on props here if you're tight, still tight in your hips. And we're going to take the right foot up and over to the outside of the left knee. Either that bottom leg stays straight or heel to the buttock. Swing that left sitting bone out from underneath here. Lift yourself tall here, float the arms up. And either you're holding onto your knee or you're hooking on the outside of that thigh. And we're going to lift with that right hand. Really get the spine tall, spin to the right. Breathe into the twist. and bring yourself back to center. Release from the pose. Switch legs, left on top, right underneath, and swing that right hip out from underneath you. Inhale, float the arms up, and exhale. Go into your twist here. Take your left fingers, push into the mat, rise up, and spin. So that right hip is grounded, it's not turning with you. Breathe into the sides of your body, and twist. And bring it back to center. Let's release both legs out in front. Shake it out. We're going to make our way into our Shavasana. So come on to your back. Use supports under the knees or under the back of the head if you need to. Of course, you could always blanket yourself if it's chilly where you are. So give your body room here. We're going to do a body scan as our mindfulness practice because we do our practice every day together. So allow the body to let go. Make whatever final adjustments you need in order to be comfortable. And then completely surrender into your mat. Close your eyes. Check in with your breathing. Let go of any deep breathing you may still be engaging. Feel your shoulders getting heavy into the earth. Shoulder blades melting across the mat here. Feel the hips softening, the lower back releasing. Soften your abdomen if you're still holding on to tension there. And we're going to just move our awareness throughout the body. And as you move your awareness, all you're doing is recognizing, just bringing your focus to the place where you're guided. And if anything 
arises sensation awareness, just noting it without judgment. You're exploring your body with a sense of curiosity. Let go of judgment and labels. Bring the awareness to your brow. Soften your brow. And be aware of the toes. And the feet. Be aware of the ankles. And the lower legs. Be aware of the knees. And the upper legs. Be aware of the hips. And the pelvis. Be aware of the navel and the abdomen. Be aware of the fingers and the hands. The wrists. and the lower arms. The elbows and the upper arms. The shoulders. the shoulder blades, and the heart center. Be aware of the neck and the throat. the space between the eyes. The crown of the head. Be aware of your whole body from the soles of your feet all the way to the crown of the head. Bring the awareness to the breath flowing in and out through the nostrils. And just rest your attention at the nose, the nostrils, the entrance to the nose, recognizing the breath as it flows. Start to reawaken the body, wiggling the fingers wiggling the toes and taking a deep stretch arms up over the head reach through your whole body hug your knees into your chest keeping your eyes closed let's rock to our sides into fetus position and press up 
into a comfortable seat position. Sit up nice and tall. Hearts open. Let's take the palms into prayer. See all of that lovely work you just did in between your hands. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Draw the chin in and bow the head forward. And bow down to your creative spirit. Bow down to your ability to create your dreams and your desires. And bow down to your love and your light. And honor that space within all beings. And from deep within your heart, send a prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. Now express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale that head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Let's see what your angels have to say for you today. Let's see. Ah, I love when this happens. Creativity. Kindness. And spontaneity. Thank you for practicing with me. I'll see you on your mat tomorrow. Have a great day.